Hickok 45 here. I've got three pistols on the table, and I don't know which one is which. One of them's a Taurus, one of them's a Sig, one of them's a Springfield, and they just all look alike, so I have no idea. Let's just shoot this one. How's that? Let's put our ears on, put around the chamber, and try it out. See if it will shoot. How's that? Okay, see which one that was. Oh, that was the Taurus GX4. Well, I'll be darned. Oh, good, because that's the one we're actually featuring today. And uh, I could tell it was the uh, the Taurus because it was the black one, right? It was the small black pistol. Yeah, like like all, of, well, mostly all of the micro compacts today look similar. And uh, so we're going to talk about this one. Happy to get it and be able to shoot it, bring it to, yeah, this is a GX4 Taurus. And... Uh, you know, I'd seen a little bit about it and started seeing more and more about it. And as I ah, just need to try one of those out, uh, it sounds like from what I had read that it was you know, comparable to the other micro compacts. We've done, uh, I think maybe over the last year, possibly the G2C, G3C. I mix up the numbers and model numbers on the, the Taurus pistols, but, and you know, we had good luck with them. And, uh, you know, it's like, why not? This one is, uh, anybody that ventures into this territory, I think I've made that comment before probably. If you're going to make a little pistol now, uh, you know, the single stack nine was the thing for a good while, right? But if you're going to venture into a, a small, even pocketable pistol, nine millimeter especially, it had better be competitive, I would say. It wouldn't have to be. You could sell some of them, but it's, Ideally, you're going to be competitive with these others out here, you know, like this Hellcat and this this P365. I didn't bring out, you know, the Glock 43 and the 43X and, and all of them. But, uh, and then uh, the Shield, the new Shield Plus, you know, they're just so, uh, the new Ruger, yeah, you know, the MX-9, you know, so, and I'm probably forgetting somebody there, but we've got uh, a good handful of, of micro compacts the standard the bar has been set pretty much you know in a small pistol this size and, and coincidentally all three of these weigh 18 ounces plus 18 and a half 18 and a third 18 and three quarters size. so essentially these are all the same weight unloaded okay and they're gonna be about the same weight loaded why well you know I, i'm just brilliant i figured it out because they hold about the same amount of ammo okay so they're all like 10 or 11 rounds in the flat and flush magazine. So there you go. Uh, and I, this is not a giant comparison, but just, just to give you an idea, let's put the mag in here uh, right away, give you an idea of how they kind of stack up. Let's stack them. <laughs> they're all, again, about the same size. Now these are just three, but, and one reason I, I brought out the SIG and the, the Hellcat is they're about the same weight. It, almost exactly 18 plus you know ounces and when you get into like the shield uh, you're getting to a little bit bigger and a little bit heavier 20 you know plus ounces and not dramatically different but these these things are almost out of the same mold these three okay so that's why I brought those out and capacity wise you know and everything the SIG is 10 rounds flush the Hellcat is what 11 in flush mag remind myself yeah 11 and then so is the uh, the new GX4 Taurus, okay? And I understand they're coming out with, if it's not out already, probably is as some of you see this, especially if you're watching this in the year 2039, right? Uh, they're coming out with, I think, some 11-round uh, mags with an extender on it for your little pinky finger. Then also maybe some 13-round mags, and who knows? By the time you see this, they may have a 59-round mag, okay? So... So let's, let's shoot it again. It's a uh, nice pistol, and uh, I, I'm, I'm impressed so far, okay, with it. I've shot it three, four different times. You probably saw it in a recent, well, it may not be a recent. Again, depends on when you're seeing our videos. I can't keep up with that. <laughs> I shot it in a recent Sunday shoot around. I'm going to go for the gong. How about a uh, pig over there, high on the left? Yeah. How about a pig right in the middle of the field over there?
<laughs> Scared him over. How about a cowboy? <laughs> okay. So I'll load these mags and tell you a little bit about it. Uh, not that I know much about it. Okay, it's uh, the trigger is always important. I, I'm, I'm fairly fond of the trigger. It's a little heavy. I think it's probably like six or seven pounds. It's got a little, little bit of a heavy break. Some of you might not like that being that heavy. Doesn't bother me. And I used to compete with a Glock 23. Some of you know back in the 80s and 1990 or whatever. Had a New York trigger in it. So I got broken in, uh, you know, shooting uh, heavy triggers. I don't mind them. It had a real clean break is why I didn't mind it. And this one is kind of like that. It's got a, a pull up to, to a very distinct wall. Very distinct wall. You've heard me talk about that enough that you know I like that. And then it breaks cleanly at that wall. So I like that. And then the reset, you can see here, it's got a short reset. See, it's right there. And unlike the other Taurus pistols that we've done recently, I think one of my biggest criticism of the G C3, G three C and G two C, whatever those are, uh, was how far I mean they shot fine, good pistols, but the, the break with my large hand of the trigger was pretty far rearward, which exaggerated the problem with my hand, the challenge with my big hand. This one is not like that at all, at all. Horace must have seen my video. <laughs> they saw us blabbing about that. It really is more like these, uh, you know, like the, the Hellcat and the, the, what is that thing? The P365, okay? So, uh, let me load these mags, tell you what I know about it. All right, now, one of the differences between these is the price. These are, I think the MSRP is about uh, like three, what is it, what's this, like 392 or something, you know, so it's under 400, under 400 bucks. And then I guess that means once they're available, again, I don't know about right now, but uh, once they're widely available, maybe they are, you might find them down the road for a lot less than that. Maybe they'll be closer to 300. So price-wise, they're going to, you know, be it, there's an advantage there, right? And will be, I would guess, for a good while. Uh, so, and, and you know, Taurus, uh, again, they have kind of a checkered past and some things and reliability. And I'm just like a, a lot of people. I've been quite aware of that over the years. I've even had difficulties with at least one Taurus. It was revolver. Had a lot of issues with it back, guys. Uh, we were doing videos, I guess. Yeah, it's been 12, 13 years ago. It seemed like a long time ago. But uh, uh, of the semi-automatic pistols and the things we've gotten lately, you know, they seem to work. They seem to work. So, uh, I, you know, they just really do. Let me show you how this thing breaks down while I've got, got it in my hand. It's cool. Now, it's a little weird, a little different. I not a big deal to me. You just turn this screw here. If you pull the trigger first, then it just pushes right off. Turn that a quarter turn counterclockwise. You know what counterclockwise is? I think it might be the opposite of clockwise. And uh, you've got to not think digital clock though when you think clockwise. So there you go. Some of you metallurgists and uh, experts out there, you might have something to say about the milling and the, the steel work. <laughs> but uh, seems fine to me, based on my knowledge or lack of, nice big extractor. It uh, has a, a, a stainless uh, you know, frame chassis in there. It's where the serial number is. And uh, it's got a long, long rail. And it does have a smooth, smooth slide. I'll have to say, it, it feels pretty smooth. And uh, got the front serrations. The sights are uh, Glock compatible. So anything you can get for a Glock, little Glock, you know, you can get for this. Okay, it starts out with a, just a dot up here and then a serrated back. So uh, you got that compatibility going for you. Uh, again, I'm uh, I'm pretty impressed with it so far, and I've shot it several times. Uh, I was messing around uh, today, in fact, before we got going, I think before John was even here, and I was I was just standing here with one hand, which obviously I can't do now because you're watching, but I was just kind of testing it and messing around, 
And like over on that, that, that red plate on the far right, I was just, just, you know, playing around and, uh, and hitting it, actually. Now I'm missing, but. <laughs> Let's put both hands on it. There we go. <laughs> Got him. Let's try that. Uh, let's try the uh, buffalo. Boom. Let's try the gong again. Uh, I think I probably can shoot it about as well as any of these because the trigger breaks where I need for it to break. How about this? Oh, one reason I was struggling a little bit there, I haven't really smoked a pot yet. Bullseye shooters would be impressed, wouldn't they? I got an idea. You see that bowling pin back there? I'm going to see if I can remember where he is, see if I can hit him through that target. I can't see him at all. I got him. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, you know, just playing around. Boom. Feels good. Uh, it really does. Uh, again, this is another one, and I don't want to oversell it. I, I'm just pleased that Taurus, for whatever you think of the name, that they seem to be making some decent pistols and that they have jumped into the competition. You know, you got to gotta give them credit uh, because uh, it's been a long time coming, but, you know, to have a pistol this size that holds 10 or 11 rounds in a flush magazine, this weight, 18 ounces, and this size that's shootable. And, you know, the thing that impressed me the most, I think I mentioned this in the Sunday shoot-around, uh, was at the shop when I picked it up at Ashland City Armory, checked it out. Because, uh, again, I have to do the same thing you do when you buy a gun, and even though it's going back just to borrow it. But, but when I picked it up, I thought, huh. You know, it struck me as just like picking up either of these two. Because, uh, again, when you have large hands, small guns can just not, not feel right. And I have some of those issues with the shield, as I've talked about too much. But this thing is just like the, uh, just like that P365 that amazed me so much when they came out with it. Uh, I don't have a tendency to pull left with it, you know, or some weird thing because of my hand being so large. I think you'll have the same reaction. If you like the feel of the Hellcat, of course, I got these wrapped up and they feel a little bit better with the Talon grips. But if uh, if you like the feel of the P365 and of the Hellcat, you will, I think, like the feel of this. And this is just bare. I haven't wrapped it up or anything. And it, it, it fits right. Uh, the ergonomics of it, the dimensions and whatever it all requires to get it that way, the trigger, where the trigger breaks and the back strap. And by the way, this has another size back strap you can put on here. It comes with, I think, one extra one. So you can make it bigger if you want to and i didn't i didn't try that uh, if i were going to keep it or something i might or I, well i don't keep it if i'm going to buy one when i buy one if i i might buy one of these i don't know uh so let me look one more time here uh what else did i not tell you about it uh show you the trigger talked about the trigger how it breaks down the chassis it has a crown barrel which is you know, kind of nice and it is uh um uh, traditional rifling there's it's not poly polygonal or polygonal rifling okay like the glock has and a lot of their models so you could shoot cast bullets if you're sitting at home today casting thousands of nine millimeter bullets you could load them and <laughs> shoot them in this I, I, I joke about that because i don't think as many people shoot cast nine millimeter bullets but some do some you know why not if you got them uh, and I say that as somebody who is a big cast bullet shooter. At least I used to be more so. Uh, man, I shot a, well, I don't say a million, but I shot a lot of 44s and 45, 45 ACP, Colt, 4570. I've loaded a lot and shot a lot of cast bullets. But but nine, nine millimeters, just a couple of times I've tried that. For one thing, you get more velocity and you get leading and that kind of thing. If you're not careful. Okay, extra leading. So, 
the capacity, the uh, price I've talked about, GX4, uh, the weight, uh, just uh, uh, pleasantly surprised, okay? Pleasantly surprised. Not dramatically surprised. I, I, you know, I don't want to overstate that because after the G3C and those, those guns are uh, nice. I don't think we had a malfunction with any of those and they just seemed to work. I just didn't particularly like the, the trigger ergonomics. Okay, so we'll take a couple more shots and get you out of here. So you can get yourself to a good rental range gun shop somewhere, maybe and try this thing out. How's that? Mm. Sights are right on, if I can hold them on. I mean, they just really are. Uh, I really, oh, let's pop that two liter right there in that can. Mm. Mm. Yeah, good shooter. One more on the gong. Oh, I had another mag. I forgot. I thought I was running out. Let's, uh, let's shoot something, uh, I don't know, quickly. Is that possible? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, I don't know. About stop sign. <laughs> That's a good little shooter. Good little shooter. GX4 from Taurus. And uh, I probably didn't tell you everything you want to know about it. Uh, but you can find any of that information. I'll tell you that the key things is the price is really reasonable. And the trigger, I like it. Okay, the ergonomics of it. I like and it's the same weight and everything as the as those two uh, you know it's it's just a, it's a it's a lot like those other two over there all right in feel and everything the trigger may be a little heavier you may not like it I think one negative I get I do get a little bit of that trigger pinch I know y'all get tired of hearing about that but on some pistols for some reason uh, this is not horrible but I just noticed because I've shot it a fair amount and I even like bruise my finger or cut it or anything i do notice a little bit of trigger pinch uh some of you have these probably by now and uh, let me know if you get a little of that or, or not but uh, that's just my weird finger i think uh, not enough that uh, it would be a deal killer for me even if i get a firearm that is really bad about that then i'm probably not gonna buy it for myself you know and but but just a minor amount and uh, I, all in all impressive you know uh, we'll have to see, you know, as people get them and shoot them a lot, if any kind of issues uh, develop, you know, surface. But uh, for, for man, for so far, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this little thing, I have to say. The Taurus GX4, it's one, again, you'll want to try. You know, if you go to a shooting range and you know, rent some guns, there's several now you need to test. <laughs> you need to try to find some ammo and test out the P365, the Hellcat, the shield and, and, and all of those if you're looking for a little pistol like this, this micro compact nine uh, try them all if you possibly can and uh, see which one you like best so anyway this is one you'd want to want to give a try i think life is good uh, all right it's a long walk from where i had to shoot that oh man oh hey didn't see you guys there since you're here i want to let you know about our friends over at talon grips and ballastall talongungrips.com Check out everything they have over there. You can get lots of different grips, the stick-on grip textures for your handguns and rifle grips. So go check them out. Also, Ballastol. They're a firearms lubricant or anything else you might need lubricating. Uh, it's water-soluble and non-toxic. Been using it on the compound and cleaning all of our guns. It's a cleaner and a lube for over 10 years. So Ballastol, Talon Grips, definitely check both of those companies out. And also, while you're on the internet, don't forget to go to Hickok. 45.com you can also find us on facebook hickok 45 twitter hickok 45 instagram the real hickok 45 and also i have an instagram page where i post behind the scenes stuff and everything's like that john j-o-h-n underscore h-i-c-k-o-k-4-5 on instagram and uh the next thing you have to do is watch more videos